What is up guys and welcome back to the Hammer Dance YouTube channel. Today we have a video that you guys have been asking me for for quite a long time uh, and I'm going to be teaching you how to set up your mirrorless or DSLR camera with your computer with OBS so that you can use it for streaming or recording or as a webcam whatever it may be. It's extremely simple it's not a hard process at all uh, so we should be able to take care of this for you guys fairly quickly. But before we do that let's give a shout out and thank you to our sponsor for today's video. Own.tv. Own.tv is the place to go, guys, if you're looking for some fresh new graphics for your stream. Whether you're on Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook gaming, you'll find something that's a perfect fit for your channel. They offer full-themed overlay packages, which are great if you're trying to give your stream a complete makeover, but let's say you're just looking to pick up some new alert graphics. Don't worry, because they've got you covered there, too. You could find single graphics such as alerts, banners, panels, and logos as well. And one of the best parts about most of these overlays is that they are completely modular. So if you and your friends all pick up the same overlay such as this Rodan one right here, you can change the colors and tweak it to match your brand and none of you will have the exact same overlay. If you guys are looking to take your stream to the next level, be sure to check out own.tv using my link below to support the channel. All right, so first things first, let's jump to the camera screen. I wanna show you guys some quick settings that you should fix on your camera before we hook it up to the computer. Okay, so first things first, let's put the camera on the right mode. So what I suggest for you guys to use is your standard video mode or movie recording mode on your camera. Um, you can get a little bit more in depth with this. You don't wanna use HDR. Uh, you can do manual if you wanna set your exposure levels and your aperture and all that uh, on your own, but I do suggest using some sort of auto feature at least in the beginning to get started. So we're gonna select the auto movie feature. My camera's pointed down at my desk right now, as you guys can see right there. So then what we're gonna do is go into your camera's menu, right? So basically, if you're starting here, uh, it might look a little different if you're not using a Canon, but generally these menus are very similar. You can look it up online, you can Google it if you're using a Sony um, or w whatever camera you have, just Google how to turn on clean HDMI out. Because basically what we want to do is have it so that when our camera is basically being used as a webcam, there is no info being displayed on the screen. So on my Canon, I'm using the EOS RP. Uh, let's go over. Keep moving over and we will see it. HDMI info display. We're gonna click that right there. Um, see, it's naturally set to with info. That shows you like all the settings on your screen when you're recording, uh, but we want it to basically be clean. I'm not using 4K. Uh, we're doing 1080 at 60 frames. So we want it to be clean, uh, full HD output. Select that. And now if you go back, take off menu, you can see as I move my camera around here, there's no info on the screen. So the next step after configuring your camera settings is to hook it up to your computer. To do this, you're gonna need an Elgato Cam Link. You can get this on Amazon uh, from between $100 to $120, depending on the day. It does go on sale pretty frequently. You're gonna basically take a mini or micro HDMI, plug one end into your camera like so, and then the other end of that cable goes into the Elgato Cam Link, which is then connected to your PC via USB. Now, another problem that people have is they don't realize that running your camera on battery while streaming or recording is not good because you can get a low battery flash that pops up on the screen. Uh, your battery will run out fairly quickly if you're leaving it on and streaming for more than an hour or two. Uh, so you do need to get an AC adapter. Like here, you plug this into your camera, it acts as a dummy battery and you plug it directly into a wall outlet to give your camera continuous power. If you don't know what type of battery your camera has, simply take the battery out, take a look at it and then Google on Amazon, wherever you wanna to go to buy the uh, dummy battery and just look it up and you can find a dummy battery for pretty much every battery that is going to be used in any camera. So the last step to getting your camera to work as a webcam to stream or record with is in OBS, you're gonna come down to the plus sign, you're going to add a video capture device um, and then when you are inside that, you're going to, for the device, you're going to select Cam Link 4K, that is your Elgato Cam Link and you will see your camera will pop up, like mine is right here, uh, that it's being used as a webcam you can now use it to stream you can use it to record uh, but just keep in mind that if you are using a specific resolution like 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames you're gonna want to come down here and change the resolution to 1920 by 1080 um, and FPS you could just leave it as match output FPS which it will match the output that your camera is putting out uh, video format you can leave as any color space 709 color range set to full 
So there you have it guys. I hope that that helped you out a lot. I've been getting asked how to do this for uh, about a year at this point. So I figured I'd just make a video to help all you guys out. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. It helps me out a lot more than you know. And subscribe to the channel. Turn on those post notifications so you don't miss the next time I post a video. And if you guys want to hang out with me on my live stream, I stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash hammerdance, usually Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern time. And if you want updates and sometimes, you know, I miss some streams or maybe I do an extra stream on the weekends, you can follow me on Twitter at Hammerdance Live. But anyways, guys, that's all from me. I want you to keep those hammers up. And I'll see you next time.